touched on him a little bit last time, but he was one of, I mean, what an underrated feud that oh, you guys had oh, in the, the mid-'80s. Brother, uh, we was on, I, I don't know if it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a starcade. It was in, it was in Philadelphia. It, uh, yeah, that picture over there with me holding that, that national strap would in the, in the, well, I'm just in the, I'm just in the, 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 that's the match, right? The bar bar is right around my head. See? Yes. That one right there is the, that night. That picture was took after that match. All right. Now, I'm a bloody mess, okay? I got sauce. It's in the Coliseum in Philadelphia, downtown Philadelphia, sold out, packed to the house. It's like seven main events. I made one of the, we're, we're, we're on the, we're, we're, we're still the B team, but we're on the A team's card. We're going, we're going, we got to play good. You know, I mean, we got to play good. But we go out there, sauce. And it's highly, highly, highly commissioned, okay? And they got commission tables setting up all the way around the ring, brother. And we turn the we're turning the tables up, all the all the tables. I'm talking not one, not two, but I'm talking about fifteen tables. We smash every day and go one of them. And they ain't a they ain't, there's not there's not a there's not a match after that that can follow us. Okay, but the, the after the match, we're saying, well, yeah, we both it's a shoot, you know. We back then, we wanted we the, it, we didn't say it's a work, brother. That was my our livelihood. That was what we wanted to be the very very best at what we were doing. Okay, we wanted and we were, brother. That match that Sam used to match for that it's either that's either the Mid Atlantic. New Mid Atlantic belt or a national belt. I don't know which one it was, but you can probably look at. Commissioner walked in there and said, Who's running this? In the, in the big, big old dressing room, right? Dusty Rhodes, uh, Ric Flair, uh, the, um, the Horseman. They're all there. Everybody's there. The biggest, big show, big show. We got, like, we got like five more matches to go, five more main events. And I see, he looks at Dusty, Dusty said, I'm running it. And he said, you need to go out there, y'all know, you need to tell all these guys in this dressing room that there's not going to be no more blood. There's not going to be no more cheers, no more tables, no more none of that ain't happening. Dusty said, no. You go out there in the front and get in the climb up in the middle of that ring, and you tell this sold out Philadelphians or whatever they whatever they are that you're stopping the matches right now. That guy looked and went, "I'm not doing that." And Dusty said, "I'm not doing it either." <laughs> and turned, went on, brother. Went on. I mean, you know, um, wow. Sam, I, I, I get this in. To, to, I, I believe I, I, I turned 65 today. Today's my birthday. I believe that I could get in the ring with Sam Houston to do, tomorrow or in two months from now and have a match. It won't be, it wouldn't be uh, bumping, flopping, but we could fight and we could pound each other and I love every minute of it, but I won't do it because my wife, there's a lot of things that can, you know, you can take the, if I do take a bump and I'm going to, if I get back in the ring, I want to take a bump because I, I was, my whole career was taking bumps and making look guys look good. And then when I beat the guy that looked like he could beat me anytime he wanted, it meant something. Hey, what a what an ideal! Have a match that it looks like either guy could beat either guy and make them look, and they look great, instead of one little guy, one hundred and twenty pounds against seven foot tall giant, and 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 the little guy wins. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. That. I, I, 
you know, David and Goliath. Okay, you know that. You know, but it. But when when we would when we done it, that guy, if he was good enough, he would he he go he would he would start down here and he goes up the ladder. You know, you just gotta remember when you come back down, you gonna meet them same people going up and you met going up. That, you know what I'm saying? Sam Houston was absolutely a pleasure to get in the ring with. Jake Roberts was absolutely a pleasure. I loved the whole family, every one of them. Uh, Grizzly, Grizzly was good to me. The, the feud that me and Sam had went on for 10 years, maybe longer. Uh, I believe we could rekindle it right now if we wanted to. Title Match Network! Push cry! Push your butt!